in this particular condition, at night, dry conditions, uh, I would expect all of the systems to be working, but if we're talking about which systems then would become the predominant system to look for potentially crossing pedestrians, bicyclists, anyone near or around the road, the primary sensor would be LiDAR. So LiDAR is using basically lasers to get distances on potential obstacles in the path. So if we were to look at the LiDAR of this picture, we should see really the potentially maybe that car way out in the front, uh, maybe trees, any hard obstacles. But at this point in the film, given that we know a pedestrian is coming up, the pedestrian should have been detected at this point in time by the car. The darkness, shadows, these should not have any effect on a LiDAR's ability to pick out an obstacle in this field. And as far as I could tell, that pedestrian was moving pretty slowly and moving at a pretty regular rate. Um, so not zigzagging or moving in some erratic way, but moving pretty consistently. So that means that those sensors on the vehicle should have picked that pedestrian and bicyclist up several seconds earlier. And that job of taking the LiDAR data, trying to classify that into a pedestrian, would have been the responsibility of the Uber software running on the vehicle. It may well be that that particular classification was not successful, so then the question becomes, what failed? It could be that uh, the sensors, the radars, or the LIDARs had a hardware failure. It's possible that the uh, computing hardware that receives the sensor information and uh, does the processing, maybe the computer had failed. So there's clearly a set of technology issues that uh, Uber needs to look into very deeply in excruciating detail.